Hey yo, what's up everybody welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video and before we get into the video guys I want to say thank you for getting us to 20,000 subscribers. You guys are super amazing. Keep on, you know, just uh, subscribing for those who are new and for the people who are still uh, with us and whatnot. You guys are super amazing. Thank you for your what? Your, your, your time. The dedication that you have you put on us and all those kind of stuff if you have any kind of reaction you want us to do just let us know and for the people who are new we are finding just we do reaction videos any kind of reaction videos most of the time we do um the religious ones because a lot of people are you know um are leaning towards that which is a good thing but if you have any other reaction just let us know we do funny reaction videos music videos and whatnot just let us know in the comment section below so without any further ado today we're going to react to no what uh no god eh? no god did not create man in his own image so without any further ado let's get it Uh, from your introduction, you said that the Muslims believe that God is uh, is unlike anything here in the world. He is not like a human being, a dog, an animal, and everything. But I, uh, in my Bible, in Genesis one, I don't know which face it is. It is said that God said that let us create him, and and he is going to have my structures. He is going to be like me. And I want to ask. Uh, how can you say that God is unlike anything here in this world? Very good question. Very good question. Did you hear the question? Huh? No. You see, the question was that I had said at the beginning of my talk that God is not like anything we can think or imagine. He's not like a man. He's not like a monkey. He's not like an elephant. He's not like a snake. He's not like anything we can think or imagine. He is a spiritual being. But now, the young lady points out that in the Christian Bible, in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, we are told that God was speaking to somebody else and he was saying, let us create man in our image. Is that you have in mind? See? Let us create man in our image, somebody like us. And if this is the image, if this is the image of God, you, me, everybody, that means God is also like you and me. That's a logic. That's a logic of our question. Very logical. If man is created in the image of God, and if the image is this, what we see, then God must be also like a man, a glorified man. We are all glorified monkeys. Or some look like chimpanzees. Some look like baboons, some look like gorillas, but we are more glorified than the chimpanzee, the baboon, and the gorilla. Am I right? We are all glorified monkeys. We are all. So God will be more glorified than us, more handsome than us. That's the only thing we can give him credit. That if we look like chimpanzees and baboons and gorillas, then he must be, you know, something more handsome. He says, no. You see, this is the misconception. You see, this book, the Holy Bible, this book is a Jewish book, 4,000 years old. The Bible is a Jewish book. And the Jewish language, like other Eastern languages, is full of metaphors and similes. You know, you say something, but you don't mean that literally. Like a person who's behaving bad, you know, immoral. We say he's a swine. Have you heard that before? You say he's a swine. What do you mean when you say he's a swine? Does he look like a pig? Does he grunt like a pig? Can you make bacon or ham out of him? Can you? No. Then what do you mean you say he's a swine? You don't say he's like a swine. You say he's a swine. Agunjalo? So we say no. We are talking about the qualities of that person, his behavior. We're not talking about his looks. He may be very handsome. Like the most handsome stars we see on the films. But we still say he's a swine. See, these are what is called figure of speech. So God Almighty, when he's talking, creating man in his image, it is not this image. You see, this image is the image of a monkey. Yours and mine, all of us. So if God is like us, 
creates problems. You see, it creates problems. If God is like us, then he has a mouth. You'll have to agree. He has a mouth. And he spoke. He said, let there be light. I'm reading the Bible. It says that, let there be light, and there was light. You believe that? I believe that. He said means he willed it. But now, if he said with his mouth, let there be light. So he's got a mouth. So he spoke. So the Christian says, yes. He spoke. With his mouth, he said, yes. He spoke those words. He said, yes. So I said, now, has he got teeth? Teeth, teeth. I'm a zinyo. A zinyo. A zinyo. Has he got teeth? What will you say? Yes. If he's got a mouth and no teeth, then he'll be blood, 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 and no life. You think God speaks like that? You can speak better than him? Me? I can speak better than him? And he's a blood, 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 and no life. No. He said that he had teeth. Then I said, he's got tongue? Yes. Yes. Then he's got larynx and lung? He said, yes. And he's speaking. He's talking, talking, talking. There's a sun, moon, stars, you know. Monkey, elephant, nay, they, that, millions and millions of words he utters for his creation. So his mouth goes dry, mine is going dry, but I'm fasting, so I can't, according to my system, this is a fasting month, we don't drink or we don't eat. But now, God Almighty talking, 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 so his mouth goes dry, so he must lubricate it. What he must take? Some liquid, no? Yes, stands to reason. If this is this mouth, this mouth, you keep on using it, it can't use, keep on using it endlessly, it must dry up. The saliva dries up, you must replenish it. So he takes a drink, and if he takes a drink, then there must be an outlet as well. No. Where you get your thunderstorms from? From the heavens. Where how did they come about? So now you see, your mind starts working. So God like that? So no. God is not like that. You see, this in the image of God means in our qualities we are like God. That the qualities that he, God has given man, God is holy. You can be holy. God is just. You can be just. God is merciful. You can be merciful. In our qualities we are all like God. We have those godly qualities if we will use them. If you want to use devilish qualities, you can use them. But in our qualities we are created in that image. Not this physical image. But now, since the, the Western world, they have no idea about the language of the Jew. They understood literally what was metaphorical to the Jew. Became literal to the Greek. Because the Greek were the first people to receive this message of Jesus Christ. The first people to receive the message besides the Jews were the Romans and the Greeks. And the Romans and the Greeks, they had the man gods beyond counting. I don't know if you heard the name. Jupiter. Jupiter is the god of heaven. Pluto, the god of hell. These are fairy tales. But in the Greek mythology, they believe that there was Jupiter, who was the god of heaven. Pluto was the god of hell. Vulcan was the god of fire. Mars was the god of war. You heard these names? Mars, Mars, M A R S, Mars was the god of war. Neptune was the god of the sea. Zeus was the father of all these gods with his many wife and many children. He was sitting on some planet and he was sending his sons into the world. His Hercules, his Apollo, and his Horus, and his Isis, and his Osiris. These are all fairy tales. You see, but the people who believe in fairy tales, fairy tales are not fairy tales. They are realities. So what was metaphorical to the Jew became literal to the Greek. And the Greeks were the pioneers of that message of the Bible to the rest of the world. So you, the African, and the Indian Christian, and the European Christian, all the Christians of the world are made to look at a Jewish book. This Bible is a Jewish book, and they're made to look at it through Greek glasses, as the Greeks saw it. So therefore, all this problem. So today, the world is going to atheism. Atheism means people who don't believe in God. In the West, Russia was once a mighty Christian nation. I don't know whether you know, Russia, was one of the mightiest Christian nations on earth. Today, they are all, not only communists, but they are atheists. They don't believe in God at all. France was once called the proud daughter of the Church of Rome, but is going atheistic. Italy, the home of Roman Catholicism, is becoming atheistic. People who don't believe in God. 
What makes them so? It is the concept. There is God, but the concept, if you think he's like a man, finish. You bring him down to your level. You think he's like a monkey? My ancestors, they believe that he was like a monkey. He's like an elephant. He's like a snake. My ancestors were Hindus. We believed in all these gods. Man gods, women gods, animal gods. You see? So once you have that type of concept, your own standards go down. And you become atheistic. Sooner or later, you will, the more education you get, the more atheistic you'll become. So there is no such thing as a physical image that God is like a man or like a monkey. The Bible says God is spirit. I'm now quoting the New Testament. We are told that God is spirit and those that worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit, not in form, shape or size, but spiritually. Because this form, once you think he's like a man, then when you're worshiping him, you're doing idol worship. It's an idol worship. When you think of God like a man, whether like Jesus or like Muhammad or like Moses or like, like an elephant, anything that you have, a mental image or one outside, it is idol worship. And we are not to worship our own images, our own imagination. Any other question? What do you think? <laughs> you know, I read one thing of the seven pitch God. Mm -hmm. And then the whole time I've been thinking that just like today, um, people are complaining about the leaders and they want them impeached or mm -hmm. they want them to resign. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what if God resigns today? What's going to happen? Are we going to all die? It's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> Where do you even sign? Where do you even jail? It's not possible. That's, that's a crazy question. What if God resigns today? What's going to happen? Hmm? What if people complain? What if people say like, why are you doing this God? Please resign. What's going to happen? Then who's going to take that seat? Do you understand? I mean, anyway, I mean, these are just thoughts that are... I've, I've seen like a placard here that says, impeach God. Anyway, they have their own reason as to why they think like that. You can't, that's their own opinion. Anyway, I like the way, what is his name? He's one of my favorite Amy actually. Didat. Yes, Ahmed Didat is one of my favorite scholars. Uh, he's still alive. Mm. Whoever lived when it comes to the space of uh, Islam, you know. <clears throat> and then another one is now Mufti Menk. I like. Uh, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, but I think it's too much. Um, uh, at some point, I think he, he gets so much emotional. I think so. I don't know. But uh, Ahmed Didat is one of my best scholars to ever live. I mean, he's one of the, I mean, if not the best, just one of those good ones who, who live. So, I mean, he's trying to reason with a lady. The lady was asking why. Is uh, created in God's image. Uh, yes, you know, and then he, I like the way he actually picked it from point A all to point Z, which was really amazing. And then he mentioned a lot of things, and then he talked about the Jewish. I mean, the Bible um, was written in Jewish, and then uh, I mean, and in Jewish there are what we call them uh, the metaphors and similes and all this kind of stuff. So things that are not taken literally. So now when I think, I don't know if they are being translated into uh, the language of English. And again, again, English, you have to understand, according to my own little knowledge, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a spell kind of language, you know. It's, 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 it's a caste language where there is one word means a lot of things. Do you understand? So... Like for example, spelling, when you just remove the L-I-N-G, you remember it's spell. So it's a spell kind of language, which, um, I mean, if we speak today, we tend to know to agree to each other because there's a sort of English that you understand that I don't understand. Or you might say something that might mean this, but I would think that it means that because it's so ambiguous. So I'm thinking that the way he answered 
the little lady or the way he put up the answer was just incredibly amazing you know i think it's just i mean it's so what do you think about god being us being created in god's image ah that's another story you know uh was that a metaphor you what do you think because i'm trying well, to think in if, god's if, image because look at the way like you said uh, you no, answered I, I, the lady pretty well and the way you answered the ladies in such a way as if you're teaching a child do you understand I don't so if think God, we if we were created in, in God's image, mm-hmm. then God is human as well. Exactly. I mean, that's it's so wrong for us to think like that. So that means even when we take um, rest enough, God is also resting. He has to be taking enough after <laughs> trying giving us but blessing if God as well. controls he's everything resting. and everybody. That's what I'm thinking. Rest. I actually love what he's not. God is not human. Yeah, he's of course, of rest. course, of course, he's not human. But if he's he a is, spirit, yeah. Is it, it's something that floats up there. It's like a power. It's like mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's like a you know, it's like a massive, massive electron. Just something just up beyond there, us. You know, manage all this. Make sure to anyway, yes. Thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, 